Well, look who's venturing out in the rain. It's really just spitting, but Denise calls it rain. Like I'm a star or something. But she wants to make sure she gets in her walk. Because it's supposed to rain all day. Right, Piper? No, she said no. It's not going to rain. No. <laughs> well, good morning. Today is Tuesday, June 23rd. We have two birthdays. Uh, the first birthday, I had to write them down because I forgot. Oh, Carrie Clark. How can I forget you, Carrie? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Carrie. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. And it's also Dwayne Riddle, who's Vicky's, Vicky Vidaire, Vicky Riddle. Uh, it's Dwayne's birthday. Today's his birthday. Yay! Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Dwayne. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. Okay, my shirt says, Where the heck is Grand. Grand. Oh, Grant Sport, North Carolina. Let's get back up. I don't know where it is. I got this as a gift. Uh, from a subscriber, and I'm sorry I forgot. Let me know in the comments below so I can give you the proper credit. I had it written down somewhere because I keep the list so I can thank people accordingly. But when I was doing my pandemic cleaning, somehow I must have thrown that notebook away because I can't find it. And I'm embarrassed to say I don't remember who sent it to me. But I appreciate it. I really do. I appreciate any gifts I get, but you'd never know it since I didn't remember who sent it to me. But... I did turn my air off, and it's muggy, <laughs> but I think it's, it's going to rain off and on all day. It was like spitting when we started, but uh, now it's like the sun is coming out. So I think that I live in a little pocket that I'm close to the lake. I'm close. Lake St. Clair is the lake I'm close to, uh, which is not a great lake, but it's one of the uh, surrounding lakes. And... Um, <clears throat> We uh, tend to, like we're in a little valley or a pocket or something, that the, a lot of times the big major storms fly right over us. So uh, Not to say that we don't get storms, because we do, but not as many as, like when they have all of the flashing warnings and stuff, it usually doesn't affect us. But uh, I'm glad I got my walk in. It was nice rolling over and going back to sleep, though, because she called me a quarter after eight to tell me that, she says, I think we can walk because it stopped raining. And I said, oh, okay. And I was just about ready to get up. And she says, oh, she called me back. Nope, cancel that. It's raining again. Because it was like an off and on rain. So I said, well, let's walk at 11. So that's what we did. We walked at 11. So, but uh, today I'm going to have for breakfast, I'm going to have a multi-grain English muffin with a teaspoon of strawberry preserves on one half and two teaspoons of peanut butter on the other. I'm going to have a couple slices of bacon, a couple eggs, and a pot of tea. Um, for dinner, I'm going to have an, uh, Johnsonville apple sausage with a corn on the cob with a teaspoon of butter and some cottage cheese and pineapple and maybe a half of a cucumber with my lemonade. And don't plan on snacking today. I'm trying to, uh, trying to lose that point eight. I, I gained it, I lost it, then I gained it, and I want to lose it again. <laughs> it's like a little game I'm playing with that, but, uh, so, anyway, um, tomorrow we're going to a sibling dinner. We're going to actually go to Denise's house and we're going to grill our own dinners. So we're going to grill chicken. I'm bringing a salad. Uh, Mary's bringing corn on the cob. Mike's bringing beans. I don't know if it's baked beans or green beans. And Denise is bringing some air fryer roasted potatoes. And then I'll bring my lemonade. So I'm going to stay on track tomorrow too because uh, I like this. Uh, I like how I'm feeling. I'm, I'm really you know, I'm getting kind of anxious. Look what we've got. My first one. My first fish fly. I think you call them mayflies in the uh, south. Denise is deathly afraid of them. My sister Sue. I was so mean. You know, like I think back, I was so mean. She was petrified of them. And what I would do, <laughs> mean, I would collect, go out and collect a whole bunch of them in a jar. You know, I'm not even proud of this, but it was like, it just shows you that I wasn't the angel like I like to pretend I was. But I would collect a whole bunch of them in the jar, put the little holes in the top so they could breathe. They lived for 24 hours. And then uh, just before bedtime, I'd put them all over her bed. <laughs> I got punished every time, but 
it was fun. And then she was very private about the way she was when she got dressed because all my sisters were well endowed. I never was. And she would put the blanket over her head while she got changed and I would anticipate just when she was naked. I mean, we would only be the girls in the bedroom. But then I'd rip the covers off. It was a, a conniving child, wasn't I? She tried to get back at me, I know, but, you know, I'm not afraid of bugs. I, I'm not a fan of mice. We had so many mice, we had traps all around the house because we lived by a field. And uh, with six kids going in and out, in and out, in and out, you're always going to have somebody leaving the door open too long. And I would be sleeping at night and I would hear the traps going off under my bed. <laughs> it was like, Ugh. And one time my brother was coming out of the kitchen and he was walking around and stepped on a mouse. He didn't deliberately step on a mouse. He didn't know it. And then we heard the squeak as it died. It was, oh. I just, I just, I don't like mice. Mice are rats. It's like, ugh. So, anyway. Oh, the, uh, Jimmy had a girlfriend and he had given her this big mass of orange cat that we named Axel. And uh, it was, it was like the biggest cat I've ever seen. It was, well, I've seen bigger cats, but it was like a big cat. But it didn't get along with Minnie Moose, so it was, uh, when it was a kitten even. So when he gave it to his girlfriend, when she broke up, she brought, gave him the cat back. And we tried to bring it into the house, but uh, the, it was so mean to Minnie. And Minnie had been in the house, and so we left uh, Axel outside. We had like a little house that we built that, uh, for her, him to go in, and his litter box and all that was outside. But uh, back then, people had their cats outside. Uh, you don't see them outside now, but back then, you always saw a cat walking around. They never kept them in the house. And um, the one day when I was pulling into the garage, there was a great big possum in my garage. Or maybe it was a muskrat. No, I think it was a muskrat was in my garage eating Axel's food. I said, you know, from now on, you, you stand and watch Axel eat. And then if he doesn't eat, you take the food away because I'm not fe feeding the wildlife around here. <laughs> That's for sure. It's enough to feed the two cats and the dog and the, and the three kids and their friends. So... Okay, I'm going to go in because it's getting a little buggy out here. i got sweat rolling down my back. I usually take a shower afterwards, but I took a shower beforehand. It was poor choice on my part, so I think I'm going to be taking another shower. So I'll see you at breakfast. All right, I'm super hungry today, so I'm going to have two eggs. And my banana and grapefruit and my cup of tea. So today is Tuesday, June 23rd. I started my day with a prayer. My quote is, Optimism is the one quality most associated with success and happiness. It's a nine-point breakfast, three points for my multigrain Thomas's English muffin, two points for two teaspoons of peanut butter, one point for a teaspoon of jelly, three points for my center-cut bacon, and zero for my egg, berries, banana, grapefruit, oh, and my tea. Nine points, so I still have 14 points left for the rest of the day. Okay, I've had two people, just two so far, tell me that they can't hear me when I'm outside. So I'm testing a theory. Uh, usually when I'm outside, I don't have my earbuds in. And I know there's a microphone on this earbud right here. And they keep telling me I need to invest in a microphone. So I'm just curious if you can hear me okay if I have my earbuds in. Uh, like I said, I've only had two people say that they can't hear me outside. But I'm taking a survey. I have the, the phone positioned exactly where I would put it if I didn't have my earbuds in. And uh, so I want you to be honest with me and let me know if you can hear me okay. <laughs> like the Verizon care commercial. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Okay, so as a comparison, I'm talking in the same normal voice that I would talk in usually when I'm outside here. This is without my earbuds in. So is the quality a little bit different or is it just the fact that it's just two people that are having a problem? I'm general, genuinely interested because uh, there's no point in me talking if people can't hear me. <laughs> or maybe you choose not to hear me. I don't know. Whatever the case is, let me know. Okay, for dinner, I'm going to have a apple chicken sausage from Johnsonville with uh, corn on the cob, some pineapple and cottage cheese, and some cucumbers with a sugar-free jello for dessert, and my lemonade. It is an 11-point dinner, four points for the sausage, three points for the cottage cheese, three points for my butter, zero for the corn, pineapple, cucumbers, and jello, and one point for my lemonade. I still have three points left. Don't want to snack on something later on.